Why do the faces in this, what, 2004 game look way more believable, way more realistic? Why do they feel more so like actual people than any other game? I don't know. I guess there could be some other game out there with facial animations this good. But uh, it's fairly amazing. love for you to stay with me. Why not? Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise. I'll get you money, I'll get you things, everything. I want to be important to you. Do we have a place? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, right now it's in Santa Monica. Yeah, it's the apartment. Uh, crappy little apartment. if and when I get a new place. There is a place here in downtown. Yeah, sure, wait for me in my place. Uh, I know where you live. I check there first. I'll wait for you at your place. And when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. Yeah, do that and clean the place up a little, would you? Thanks, Heather. So we have our own personal bang maid now. Bang maid. That's a Sunny in Philadelphia reference. What a great show. All right, we can just skip right past Chunk, I guess. Oh, no, you can't. Chunk is in control of the elevators. Oh, all-powerful Chunky. Can I go upstairs, please? Mr. LaCroix told me to keep an eye out for you, Coffee Cake. Coffee Cake. You, right up. you know, I got a break in an hour, and a fresh box of Krusty Kremes in the back. How about on your way out? We, uh, uh, huh? Oh, baby. I did flirt with him, didn't I? Oh, man. What have I done? So, uh, I used to go out and get whole... Whole, uh... Just a, just a dozen donuts and coffee. And eat the whole thing. That's right. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to admit it. But I am already regretting the type 2 but diabetes I'm going to have later in life. Um, how's the job, security man? Ah, you know, I'm keeping the undesirables out and the innocent safe and secure. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hardworking, decent folks. Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix's got nothing to worry about. <laughs> hmm. He, I don't think he would know what number two even means. Or would he? Well, let's be nice to Chunk. I'm sure he appreciates you. <laughs> appreciates that you're here to protect him. If I could even read. See you, Chunk. Eh. Uh, uh. All right, up we go. You can see their capes and jackets I've flip around because they always do. Flip flop. No. Oh, was that fixed? Oh, I think that was fixed. Nope. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I saw that. And I was about to be impressed. Man, these candles are intense. Were they like this before? 
Huh. I want to say no, but... Maybe I just wasn't in the mood to notice things last time. It's a gold trim. It likes his gold trim, that's for sure. Ah, oh, they didn't take the time to put things on the shelves. For shame. I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of uh, what you saw. Yes, everybody on board was massacred. There weren't any survivors. And the Ankaran sarcophagus? What did you see? There was blood all over the floor. Handprints indicate that it was opened from within. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. <laughs> Molly, Molly Coddles. Hmm. That involves me. This involves me somehow, doesn't it? Those were the primogen, this city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. The Sabbat's appearance has put the primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into, and have him contact us. Man, we already get to go to Grout's mansion. Nice. Okay. Well, she doesn't really know what she's talking about when if if I were to say number two, because this is uh, this is going to be plenty of action. Uh, certainly, is that all, Mister Lacroix? Yes, for the moment. You know, your demeanor thus far bears similar characteristics to those that rise to the top of this organization. Oh. Stay that course. Oh. Uh, thank you, sir. Now about Grout. Yes, uh, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. Uh, do we have anything we need to... Take care of. Eh. I think I'll go. Yeah, let's go right away. I don't have to do anything. I don't know if it teleports you straight there or what. Eh. Go right away. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. Oh, and to show my appreciation for your dedicated service to me. I have secured you a haven nearby, oh, in shit. the Skyline Apartment Building. I hope it's to your liking. Oh shit, son. Uh, thanks, tell my goal to move there too. Nice, so you get that as a reward for doing the quest well. Yeah, if you don't kill any cops. If you don't get spotted, I suppose. So, where did he say? <laughs> oh, God damn it. Well, let's take a look at my inventory at the key. Let's 
Skyline apartment, skyline. Sky, I wanna, I think they're over here. But where? I think they're down here, right? Are they not? They're right down here. Isn't that them up ahead? Yep, that's it. I just want to take a quick look at my apartment and then I'll stop. Maybe talk to Heather a little bit. I think you can have her change outfits and uh, maybe give you money. I know you can feed. Oh, I need to feed from her anyway. Yeah. It's really nice. Creepy paintings. Huh. What did I see glowing over here? What is this? Unknown. Unknown. What? Hmm. When you gaze upon this object, the skies darken and lightning flashes. Those aren't good clues to what this is, though. You need a research skill of at least four to use this item. Hmm. I kind of want to know right now. So... Six for scholarship. Hmm. If I keep going down this road, I'm going to be persuasive and seductive. Well, since I'm already... Persuasion's already high. What else affects persuasion? Charisma. Yeah, let's just do that. Cause I wanna know what this whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh really? Duration increases for some of my skills. Holding this rough-hewn amber stone gives you a sense of peace and even a glimmer of hope for salvation. You are able to hold the effect of most passive disciplines longer as you possess Galjum? <laughs> Galjum. Their durations are increased by 25%. Oh, wow. So that's going to stack with my... The character trait I chose, which is, yes, an auspex duration of 120%. Okay. Okay, so that's my penalty. Celerity is going to be slow to upgrade. Right, I'm playing the artistic class, aren't I? Toreador? Right? Okay. Well, let's have a chat with Heather and then stop. I'm so glad you're back. I've been waiting here just like you asked. Your place is, um, nice. <laughs> 